who's just in, Myrtle Cothel, has won an unlikely victory. The 92-year-old South African woman is now allowed to stay in the UK. ENCA correspondent Natalie Powell joins us now via Skype for more on the story. Natalie, thank you for joining us. It's been described as an unlikely victory. What factors convince this, this outcome? Well, really, where this outcome comes from is a last-minute submission of new medical evidence. It was a psychological examination of the 92-year-old Myrtle Cothill, and in it, it mentioned things like if she were to be deported, the serious impact that that would have on her mental health. It went into quite a lot of detail, actually, saying that the damage this would have on her if she was deported back to South Africa, where she would move away from the care of her daughter Mary, which she has been under that care here in the UK for the past two years, that that would really have an irreversible effect on her mental health if she were to be sent back to South Africa. And one of the uh, things that Dr. Robinson said in this report, of course, is that it's likely that within three months of being sent back to South Africa, Myrtle Cottle could well deteriorate in her mental health and possibly uh, could even die within three months. So it looks like like the Home Office has taken this report very seriously and on grounds of her human rights and the right for a family life has decided that she should remain here in the UK. The story also had uh, quite a substantial amount of outcry from the public. Could that have influenced the decision? I think there can be no doubt, really, that that has influenced the Home Office's decision. We've seen two appeals on this case rejected, uh, with the Home Office saying that she wouldn't be able to stay. On the 23rd of February, she had a deportation order where she was actually ordered to be on a flight. That was only stopped at the very last minute because of this new medical evidence. But we have seen the numbers of those supporting her grow and grow over particularly the past few months. There are now some 150,000 online signatures and actually quite a large pot of money that has been um, put, donated online as well to go towards her legal costs. So it really has hit home here in the UK. This 92-year-old woman uh, whose only family now exists in the UK uh, being sent back to South Africa, there does seem to be a sense of injustice in that and that certainly has rallied uh, the UK population uh, around this story and in support of her. Having said that, though, it must be said that there are a number of people who disagree with this decision. They believe that, of course, with Myrtle not having contributed, for example, to our NHS system here in the UK, that she now has the rights and privileges of a national health care system that she hasn't contributed to. So it is a, a rather grey area for a lot of people as well. There are immigration laws in place for specific reasons reasons here in the UK, but it does seem that the vast majority of people here are in support of Myrtle's case. And on hearing the news, what sort of response did uh, the, the Cothill family have? Well, the family are absolutely delighted, unsurprisingly. This has been a two-year battle. Uh, Myrtle has become rather unwell. I think we can say as a result of it, she told me that she's lost nine kilos in weight. Uh, it has been what they've described as a rather heavy cloud laying over them. They've never really known when they were likely to, to have the deportation order, whether they would have police knocking on the door, for example, in the middle of the night. That was something they were certainly very, very concerned about. So it has been a huge relief. They've said that it feels like a huge weight has been lifted and they're very grateful for the UK Home Office for having made this decision. Thank you so much for that update. That was our UK correspondent there, Natalie Powell, talking about the breaking news just in Myrtle Cothell, who has now won an unlikely victory allowed to stay in the UK.